Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. In this video, we'll be removing and reinstalling a windshield wiper switch in a 2008 Subaru Outback. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. We're going to disconnect the battery. We're going to use a 10 millimeter wrench. Disconnect the negative terminal on the battery. Loosen this up, twist it back and forth. Pull that out of the way. There's a Phillips head screw right here. We're going to take a Phillips head screwdriver, take this screw out. Then we're going to grab this panel with two hands and pull down. And then I'm going to pull this release, this the adjuster for the steering column down and then pull this panel out of the way. So next to pull the upper cover off, there's three Phillips head screws. They're hidden. You kind of got to go in between these wiring harnesses here and go up there. That's for one. So we'll take that one out. There it is. And then there's another one right here in front of this white connector here. I'm gonna take that one out. Pull that one out. And then the last one, I'm gonna pull the steering column outward and have it up with the adjuster down. And that one is over on this side. So once you get those out, put the steering column down, and then we can pull the cover, upper cover off. All right, we're gonna disconnect. We're not gonna disconnect the connector, but we're going to pull these connectors out of our way. I'm gonna use a trim tool to get underneath here. Up, get that to release. So now there's a Phillips head screw on the back side of this theft module. So I'm going to take um, my Phillips head screw bit on a ratchet and I just have to loosen it up just a little bit because it is slotted. You can't really see it, you got to feel around for it. Just loosen it a couple turns. All right, so the screw is loose on the immobilizer on the front side. On the back side, there's a little clip. I'm going to use a right angle pick and I'll get underneath here and try to get under it and pry it up a little bit. And then I should be able to pull the immobilizer right off. All right, I'm going to loosen this screw a little bit more because it wasn't sliding too well. And then slips right off. So I had to get underneath this with my pick, pry it up a little bit, then pull. And this is where the screw was on this slot. So we just unscrewed that screw and it slides right out. Right here is that screw, that Phillips head screw. You just, you just gotta loosen it uh, probably about three turns. We're gonna just let this immobilizer hang right here while we take the wiper switch out. All right, you had to pull this off because um, this would have been in the way when pulling the wiper switch out. So you just need to get it out of your way. Right. And we're gonna take these two Phillips head screws out. Pull that one out. We can grab it and slide it. And once it's out, it's easier to pop the connector off here. And just push down on this tab and slide it out. We're going to reinstall this. We will take the connector, slide it up, make sure it's in properly. It's all the way down. 
Then we can slide the windshield wiper switch down. We'll take our Phillips head screws and install those. I'll just get this one started, then I'll get the other one started. And we can snug them both down. Now we can install this immobilizer module slash antenna. It'll click into place. We can grab our Phillips head bit on our um, ratchet. Feel around for that Phillips head screw. I'm just gonna tighten it a little bit. All right, so once it's snug, just a little bit more. And that's it. I'm gonna reconnect this connector, hold down into the slot. There we go, until it locks in place. Now we're gonna put this cover on. Get that lined up good. We'll take our Phillips head screw. Go up in that hidden location gonna get it started so then I can wiggle it around to get the other ones in if I need to and then get this last one in back here I'll pull the column adjustment lever down all right all those screws are started now I'll snug them all down Push down on the cover so it's lined up. Now we're going to put the lower cover on. Slide this in. Get it lined up with the upper cover. lined up, push it together. When it all clicks in place, you know it's in. Next we'll take our Phillips head screw, install that right here. And we can lock our steering wheel call. And we can reconnect our battery. Take a 10 millimeter wrench, tighten it up. I'm gonna take and just wiggle the negative terminal and make sure that's good. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.